That's a beautiful way of putting it. I've never heard that before, actually. Yeah, it just came up as you were speaking. That's beautiful. But that's really what's happening, right? It's like th- there's two large aspects of life that we've always known of. We've always known that name. And it's funny because Father Time is masculine. And Mother, Mother Nature, Nature is feminine. That is it's, wild, it's perfect, actually. That, it must be why that's the case. Ancient wisdom the, in the phrases. Exactly. The more time you spend in nature, the more time you're, you're spending in your feminine, honestly. Wow. And nature within itself, you are so small in this world and in the natural environment that you kind of have to flow with it. Yeah. You're not going to beat this gust of wind. You're not going to beat that rain. You're not going to beat that predator animal, you know, not too far away. You need to surrender Mm -hmm. to nature. Mm -hmm. But because we've built these artificial environments like New York City, which is the pinnacle of it, but there's so many um, minor ones like that around the world. Because we've lived in these environments where we have excluded ourselves from nature, we're taking everything so serious. Yeah. Everything's about me. I'm the strongest. I'm the most powerful. I'm this and this and that. And funny enough, that is the exact kind of energy that when bring women bring a seriousness to dating, it drives the men far, far, far away because it feels like they are sitting across the table from a fellow man and exactly. that they're dating a bro. And you don't want that. And it's and it's not anyone's fault because we're living in a world on father time. Mm-hmm. So everyone has to get with the program. Like I'll use myself as a, you know, 21 year old woman who just graduated college, top of my class, summa cum laude. I get my first job in big tech. I work really, really hard. I'm working till like 8 p.m. every night. I have no idea that that energy of doing and conquering that I was bringing to my work, I was bringing to my dates. To be honest with you, as 20, a 24 year old, I would consider myself high value man for 24 year old. Oh, definitely. That is incredibly unappealing to me i know that's like that is the last thing i want it. that is so unsexy like on anything i could ever want in my future person because it is the exact same frame that you're trying to get a break from yeah i just got back from work i just worked 12 you hours don't straight. Keep working. i don't want to i don't want to you don't want to stay on the clock it's ridiculous because the woman that you're on a date with is trying to mad dog you into proving that she's smarter than you a flex off like what are we doing here what are we doing here i want to have fun I want to laugh. I want to laugh. I want to feel loved. I want to feel something. I want to feel something. I just came from a world of numbers and digits and time. Yeah. Fuck all that. Yeah. I want to feel something. I feel good. That is what women, I believe, are put here to do, Mm -hmm. to bring color to this black and white world. But we've forgotten that. Absolutely. I think it's time to return back to that. Yes. Not saying, I believe every woman on on this planet can do nearly anything a man can do. Mm hmm. Same goes for men to women, except except birth kids, you know, and that whole bio, biological oh, that part thing. that we like to you know, <laughs> forget. Yeah. But there's a very big difference there. But I am saying that each sex has certain attributes that just naturally they're going to be more drawn to. Mm-hmm. And we need to start embracing that natural inclination to do or be things as opposed to what we've been told to do or be. If women truly were able to live a life in which felt right to them, it would they would not be doing the exact same things they're doing today. Some would, but most wouldn't. When a woman steps into her masculine, that's coming from force. I've never met a woman that her entire life felt fully safe, fully seen, and then ended up being a boss woman. Mm. Why do you think that is? You ask it? I'm asking you. Well, when you grow up in an environment where you don't feel in control, you spend your whole life trying to create that control for yourself. Mm. And control is masculine. That's why whenever you have, like let's take this into a dating context, This is the kind of woman who goes on a date. She thinks it it went well. The guy hasn't texted her yet. She's now getting anxious. She sends a text first saying, thank you so much. I had such a great time. I would love to see you again. Okay, right in that moment, you are stepping into the masculine because now, now this is where it gets tricky. A lot of women, when I talk about this, come for me saying, well, I'm just being myself. And if a man doesn't like that I send that text after a date, he's not my man. 
let's pause. Let's ask ourselves, is that who you are at your core or is that a coping mechanism? Is that a coping mechanism for being uncomfortable with your reality and wanting to fix, control, push the ball forward? Because in a lot of these cases, in the case of of my own life and experiences, any time that I did that, I sent the text after the date, it was because I was anxious and I couldn't stand not knowing where I stood with someone. I couldn't surrender. I couldn't let go. I couldn't say, you know what? If he likes me, great. If he doesn't like me, also great. I wasn't comfortable saying that because I wasn't choosing myself because I wasn't doing the work on myself to look at all my past wounds and insecurities and all the things in my past that were holding me back like this dark cloud above me that I didn't want to look at. I didn't want to dissolve using my own power. Thank you so much for watching that clip. I hope you enjoyed it and felt a little love or joy sprinkled into your day. If you want to watch another one, you can go here, here, or somewhere all around here. I hope you have a great day. Bye. Love you.